Well, hello guys, it's Z Pumpkin, and today I'm bringing you Redstone Contraption. What we're gonna see today is a Seth, Seth Bling drawbridge powered uh, crane, and this is how it works. Give it a sec. There we go. These are ghost blocks, by the way. If I put a block, see, they disappear. Those are ghost blocks. So, as you can see, the crane does what every crane does it moves objects around. Uh, in this case, it was a diamond block from this lava-filled obsidian pool, uh, obsidian tank. Yeah, lava-filled obsidian tank. And brought it right in front of you. Like, I imagine, we can imagine, like, someone right here. So, it's not the most useful of contraptions, I agree. Most people would rather store their diamond blocks in ender chests, but I think it's cool. And it's one application of the Sethling Draw Bridge. Uh, of course, this entire part comes from actually this all the entire sense the entire sandstone part of this build comes from Seth Bling's new video on how to make a drawbridge with the new slime block mechanic uh, being the fact that uh, slime blocks will now uh, basically act as sticky as glue but anyways more on that in another video uh, so how do you build it well first off you need to look up either Seth Bling's video because most of this would be impossible without him. And of course, a Redditor called Brian or Ryan the Leech. I will put that in the description so you can check him out because he is the one who found this bug, which enables us basically to move uh, sticky, sticky uh, sign blocks back and forth. He is the one who found this, and Sedling is the one who made a drawbridge out of that. Uh, basically, what's going on here is we're using the we're using this bug where you can move a line of uh, slime blocks along uh, this row here uh, and Sedling just timed it so that it would stop at quote unquote regular intervals uh, basically it stops exactly where you want it to stop and in this case I wanted it to stop right there so this triple uh, piston extender can push whatever block you have stored into your weird lava filled tanks uh, in front of you. So, let me make a day. So, uh, what's going on here? So we're using, uh, I think, I'm not the biggest redstone fanatic, so I don't know the name for this circuit. I think Sedling told, uh, said in his video it was a monostable circuit. Uh, basically, because I, I did try and understand before replicating it, uh, basically what happens, when power goes through here, it will uh, do switcheroo things, uh, switcheroo things being, um, by the way, for all the advanced redstoners, I'm sorry, I'm explaining this to the people who don't understand redstone that well, uh, in case, uh, well, in, in case you're more interested in the whole thing, I think that's all you guys need to see, there are all the circuits over here, which I'll be covering later in the video, right now I'm just, you know, speaking to the lesser, the lesser not redstoner people, um, basically what happens here is when you uh, let me, yeah, actually, uh, no, that's not what I want to do. Okay, so when you put power through there with that lever that's over there, this, uh, uh, this, um, what do you call this? I can't remember. Torches. Torches will turn, this torch will turn off. This, this will be already turned off, by the way. Meaning this will be, this entire line will be fully off. Which means this will light on, since nothing is powering this to shred off. See Redstone for Beginners, one of my very few first videos, uh, so that I can explain this mechanic if you don't know about it. And basically what we'll this, what this will do is we'll set this uh, rapid fire clock, let me show it to you guys, that clock, it will set it on. And doing so, it will do the mechanic we were watching right over here. See, you can see that, uh, that uh, really rapid fire clock, actually, ooh. You can see there was a slight bug in the matrix right there. Uh, these need to be sticky pistons. If they're not sticky pistons, this will not work. I thought I should uh, probably share that with you guys. Because it did take me like a full hour to understand that if it wasn't a sticky piston, it would not work. Oh, sorry. Messed up again. There we go. So, no, 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 stop. <laughs> so, like I was saying, this will turn on it will start this uh, this uh, little fast rapid clock and it will start going down and this is the timing part since we want uh, 
we want this uh, line of sticky blocks to extend to a certain point and to stop then well we time it precisely with this with these repeaters so that this turns back uh, yeah, so this turns back off and this turns back off uh, this turn back this turns back off there we go and stops the entire circuit as it is right now if I switch it again let me do that real quick it will do the same on the other side so basically you can have uh, some you can have the same timer uh, this is why there are two rows by the way uh, so one when you go away fly um, one when you want uh, one row to go down and the second when you want the other row to go down sorry if I'm not explaining this but I'm, I'm trying to I hope looking at it will make you understand uh, a, a bit better I hope so <laughs> at least anyways that's done and as you can see then there's a second part of the circuit where once this is done and this is gonna yeah this is gonna wreck the entire <laughs> I knew this was going to happen. Um, hmm. No. Do, do, do. Sorry, last minute adjustments because uh, I screwed up with with timing a few seconds ago. I should probably, yeah, I don't, I'll, I'll disconnect this. So, uh, actually, no, I'll, I'll show it to you guys because we've already shown this part. Um, this obsidian part compri is comprised of two uh, little um, two little circuits. Uh, one of them is, uh, I think, what is called a pulsar. Don't quote me on that. I don't really know what the name is. I know what it does, but I don't know what the name is. Uh, basically, what happens, it turns one steady circuit, a redstone, like this one, into uh, one short pulse. Let me demonstrate that over here, where I've reproduced said little circuitry. Uh, I've, uh, I've made this part. This part is completely optional. I just need the, what they call the redstone flows to be inverted. I need to invert the redstone signal. Basically I need to when this is turned on this to be off instead of when this is off to be off. It's it's I just need to invert stuff because that was that was handy in the circuit. So what happens here is the steady signals goes here like so. And when the steady signals uh, goes here this is turned off. So uh, let's go back to steady signal off. When there is no signal, uh, this is on, meaning both these repeaters are on. And with the redstone locking mechanism that was implemented in a 1.6, I think, or 1.5, don't quote me on that. Uh, this there is uh, there is a circuit. There is a one piece of redstone uh, powered here, and this repeater blocked by this one. So when you turn it off, what happens is this gets uh, gets inside here because it can, this doesn't block it anymore. So this goes inside here, and then it is thrown back for a full, t it, it's, it waits for a full tick, this, uh, uh, for four ticks, the entire length of the repeater here, and then fires one pulse right in there. So that's how it turns a big steady redstone signal into one, one short pulse. And that's really necessary, uh, because we need that short pulse to feed into a triple piston extender triple because if you put a double like I learned myself uh, the problem is the double piston extender will basically uh, stick on the this contrap this part of the contraption of the redstone contraption and basically it will ruin the whole mechanism so it, 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 it basically you have to have a triple piston extender otherwise you can't safeguard the block anymore which sucks uh, so basically, the triple extender, how it works, is uh, one piece, uh, so the, there's the mono, the, the pulsar thing. This will pulse one piece of, the, well, this will pulse one tick of redstone, which will power the entire mechanism here. Uh, basically what happens first, what am I saying? First, this gets back, wait, whoa, 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 whoa. give me a sec. IR's confused. Uh, wait, how does this work? <laughs> Uh, blah, blah, blah. there we go. Let's watch it. Oh, by the way, uh, this is not a sticky piston, which is the reason why it's not retracting. But you can make it a, a sticky piston, and it works just as well. Okay, what happens is 
this line of redstone is going to feed into this block, so which will set it on. This will push this here. Being a two ticker, this will be the next one to set off. It will set. It will set off. So, so well, this sets off. Then be, this being four ticks, this will come here, and then that will set off, leaving the entire thing over here. And then, uh, meanwhile, at, after two ticks, two 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 ticks. Um, so it's complicated. Give me a second. Uh, I'm trying to remember how this works. This is not my design either, by the way. Uh, I picked the, this up from uh, Gunsmoter, I believe is the name. Uh, you should also check out his channel. I will, I will link all the people who's con who've contributed to this crane uh, in the description down below. Uh, this this is a really well-known uh, well, well, well circuit, piece of circuit, so that's really com common knowledge. I didn't have it. I had to look at I had to look up how to make one long steady piece of redstone into one pulse, but I I did the work and it, it's fine. Anyways, I think I've covered actually everything. Uh, for people wondering about the repeaters here, uh, if I didn't put the repeaters here, this would fire basically instantaneously and would basically just throw off the entire line, like you've seen many times in the video by now. So I put this long repeater line to be longer than this one so that when that this uh, is finished by the time uh, the steady piece of redstone signal reaches here and activates the triple piston extender although you notice that uh, of course we need to have give it a sec I like this okay it is now go time I think uh, actually it might, it might screw up it might screw up. It will. See, if I didn't do that, it would have screwed up big time. Uh, ah, that's why. Okay. So, I think I've demonstrated the crane idea. Uh, hopefully you guys liked it. I don't do redstone often because, as you can see, I'm not that knowledgeable in redstone. But I saw Sedling's contraption and drawbridge, and I thought, we can make something out of this. And I made a crane. Uh, it's it works. It's really I think it can be shortened. I think it can be really si well. No, this part is kind of oh this can be shortened. I think you can actually build like a, a crane, crane an actual crane and integrate this circuit into it to make it actually work. Uh, of course, it it really isn't that useful, but for aesthetics, it it's really pleasing. It's like a drawbridge. It's not that useful, but it's cool to have anyways because you know drawbridge you can just place blocks and go to the other side. Here you can just automatically uh, ha take a block. I know there are a lot of different ways to do this, but this includes the new slime mechan the new slime block mechanic. So yeah, hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, uh, be sure to actually go to the videos that uh, well first Seth Blings for finding this. Uh, the redditor, I th I, again I think it's Brian or Ryan the Leech who found this bug, and the other that other dude, uh, Gunsmoter I think was his name who made the triple piston extender and made this entire crane possible. Uh, of course, if you could show some love for me, who took the time to build this, that'd be great too. Um, mostly leave comments, that's all I want really. Uh, and yeah guys, thanks for watching, hopefully uh, the Redstoners got a few better ideas than me. If you did, you know, send me your designs or show me, send me a link to your videos, I'd, I'd be glad to see what, what my baby turns into. And for the not so redstoners, I hope you guys understood how it worked. Uh, if you didn't, leave a comment. I'll try and explain the best I can, or I'm sure other redstoners will be able to explain to you. Anyways, guys, I've talked long enough. I'm going to sign off. See you guys later. Bye bye.